Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the 150 Mirror Cup Grand Prix playthroughs. I'm your host, as always, Slim Kirby. Let's get started. Uh, first up today, we're going to be doing the Leaf Cup. As for characters... Let's go with Yoshi. Let's see what other cards Yoshi has to work with. He has some interesting ones, but... Uh... You know what, let's do Yoshi and the Poltergust. That'll be different. We'll see how that does. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go to Leaf Cup first. What do we have to experience he here on Koopa Beach 2? Will a vacuum work well on a beach? We're about to find out. Okay, so... This is the last weekend of the Grand Prix playthroughs. After this, I'll probably be moving on to Mission Mode, which I think is the... Or what I consider to be the secondary mode. The secondary single-player mode of this game. Again, I feel like the biggest highlight of this game, or... What this... What the biggest highlight used to be is the online, but unfortunately I'll not be able to show that. Which is kind of a shame. Because again, as simple and primitive as the online is in this game compared to other Mario Kart games, back then, like, it was such a big deal, I feel like. It was such a big deal because I remember, like, a lot of the things that people really, really hated about the uh, GameCube and just Nintendo systems in general was that there was no online play. And, like, that was, like, such a huge thing with the Xbox. That's the one thing I feel like the Xbox, like, really, really revolutionized, is just the fact that you could play online with friends, random people, and, you know, for games on the GameCube and Nintendo, like, if you had any online friends, you'd have to wait till you went to, like, a convention or something to play with them. So, yeah, it was really good that they did kind of start introducing online. Although, I have to say... There was definitely a huge problem with the online system because, you know, you had to use friend codes to play with your friends. And it was funny because a lot of my online friends back in the day were on the Nintendo Insider forums. That was like the big message board I was a part of back then. It was Nintendo's official message board and, uh, you know, it was a big deal. Like, there were a lot of people on that website and I had a lot of fun talking to a lot of different people and I wanted to play games with them and stuff. Because, you know, these were actual Nintendo fans that enjoy all of the same games that I did. But, Nintendo had a very strict uh, personal information policy where you couldn't actually trade friend codes on the Nintendo Insider forums. Like, they would not allow you to the trade friend codes because they thought it was, like, personal information. It's like, oh, you don't want to just give out your friend code information because you might get, like, hacked or something. And, uh, that was just, like, really, really stupid because I wanted to play with all these people who were talking about how awesome this game was, but you had to always, like, go in secret. You had to, like, do it through private messages and stuff of that nature. Which was always, like, really, really sneaky, but, uh, and they told you not to do that, but, I mean, they couldn't really enforce that. But still, that was, like, some of the difficulty of, like, Nintendo back in those days. They were just so scared about sharing personal information that you couldn't even do it on their, um, personal, like, message board. Which, again, I understand their reason for wanting people to stay safe, but again, it was just a shame that I couldn't play with all these other Nintendo fans that were right there. It's like I had to hope that maybe, just maybe, I'll race them online, but again, that was such a crapshoot that... Yeah, that's probably not going to happen. So yeah, just some general frustrations of the online service. I already kind of went over how like people would often like use snaking and stuff of that nature to really make the races really hard to win. Not necessarily unfair or impossible. You could still always be a snaking player, but it was just really, really difficult because they'd be so far ahead and you'd have to just use items non-stop to catch them. So you, you were playing with a huge disadvantage if you didn't know how to use snaking. And uh, there were definitely hackers on the old Mario Kart 
Wi-Fi as well, people who would like uh, always get blue shells as their items and just immediately uh, use them so they just like screw you over. Heck, I remember, like, I don't know if it was, uh, I don't know if it was Mario Kart DS or if it was Mario Kart Wii, but I remember there was, like, one player who was just, like, I don't know, the race started, he threw a blue shell at me, like, I got, I was, like, the only one who got, like, a boost forward, and, like, I got blue shelled, like, immediately at the very beginning of the race, before we even got to item blocks, and... Through the whole rest of the race, this guy was just, like, following me. And, like, whenever we'd pass item blocks, he'd just, like, get, like, so many... Uh, like, a bullet bill or something and just run into me. Like, non-stop. And, like, he'd wait for me to come back and then he'd run into me again. So, like, there were definitely, like, players, toxic players like that who really made the game very, very unenjoyable. But, you know, there's people who do that. There are people who are that sad and pathetic who can actually get their kicks out of that kind of behavior. And one of the funniest things, one of the funniest hacks I've ever seen was that um, I was playing online for this game once and like I mentioned how there were like some tracks that you couldn't play online because they just weren't available but like I was playing online with someone and all of a sudden like a track got picked and it was Pipe Plaza, which is actually a battle course. But we were playing, like, the online mode, which there wasn't a battle mode online. It was just, you know, normal racing online. So, like, it selected Pipe Plaza as the course. And then my game just froze. Like, it didn't know how to proceed because it's like, oh, well, you're not supposed to be able to play this online. So I was like, wait, Pipe Plaza? How'd that happen? <laughs> I just always thought that was kind of funny. But yeah, those are just some of my experiences with the online. I kind of felt like talking about that. Because I really haven't talked about it that much. Also, I'm completely dominating this race, or this circuit. Not only have I been first in every race, I don't think there's like anyone who's even come close to beating me. Maybe in the first race, but like... The other two races, I won them without like really even doing much at all. Did I just go through Waluigi right there? <laughs> I just went right through him. He must be a wizard or something. You're a wizard, Yoshi! <laughs> that or like I'm a... I'm a Ghostbuster since I'm apparently riding the Poltergust. Poltergust is another like really, really good car. I think it can also be used for snaking pretty well. And I think it actually even has, like, a pretty good off-road stat as well, so... This is definitely a good cart, I'd say. Also, yeah, that's when, uh, you can definitely block red shells. Is if you're drifting when a red shell's coming, uh, sometimes, like, the item you hold out behind you will kind of be arced a little bit. So when the red shell does come, and like I said before, it kind of... It kind of gets parallel with you before it kind of, like, goes at you. So that's why sometimes, like, even if you hold an item out behind you, you can still get hit. So if you do kind of like a drift or a turn at just the right time, you can technically avoid the shell or block it in that fashion. So yeah, just some uh, shell avoiding strats, I guess you could use. Also, my god, another perfect, and I like, was it really even like that focused? Because I was talking about stuff the entire time. That was really, really cool. That's really nice when you can just kind of lose yourself in the game, I guess. As for the ranking... Two stars. Ah. I guess my... One of the races, I must have done something that kind of slowed me down a little bit. Still, though, I'm not complaining. That's a really good placement and a really good ranking, too, so... I'm definitely happy about that. Let's go ahead and move on to the next Mirror Cup. We have the Star Cup next. Uh, what do you have, Toad? Oh, you have the Dry Bomber. Do you have the Egg at all? Who has the Egg? Does anyone have the Egg? Well, Yoshi obviously does, but I'm not counting Yoshi. What about Dry Bones? 
Oh, he has the marshmallow. Daisy, do you have the egg? Yes, you have the egg. Yeah, let's use Daisy again. We'll use Daisy in the egg for this last one. I know we didn't use Daisy that long ago, but... You know what? I feel like using her. Why not? I think for the next one I'll probably use Toad and the Dry Bomber or something. Alright, here we go. Here, here, here we go! So they're finally here. Racing for you. If you know the words, you can drive along too. Put your hands together if you want to drift as we take you through this Mario Rift. Oh yeah! DK rap to the tune of Mario Kart. Or to the lyrics of Mario Kart. Aww! That's kinda cute how the snowmen kinda get affected by the lightning too. And when they get hit by something they kinda like hide in the snow. It's like they're scared. Oh wait no. I keep forgetting this is in the mirror. I was like wait. Is the turn that way, or... Oh, wait, no, it's that way. See, that's what I was talking about earlier. That's when, like... Mirror can really, really screw you up. Is an instance like that. You know what? Let's just go up here for a while. Hey, item block. Yeah, we got three triple mushrooms, and I think I was in first place when I got them, so... That item block can be really, really good to get. Also, Toad, you have a... Yeah, you had a red shell. Bomb! Ah! Wow, the lightning around the same exact time. Interesting. I also like how the lightning bolt also affects, like, the music, too. I think I'm gonna definitely grab the... Oh no, I can! I've already passed it. Oh no, I didn't. It's right here. Oh! You know, a star man in first place. Oh man, look at all these items. Lightning? No. <laughs> if only. So yeah, that was, that was a pretty interesting race. I got to show off the item block. We got lightning a few times. There was a blue shell disaster. It had everything. But now we're on to some bigger and better tracks, like good old TikTok. <laughs> I had to readjust my turn right there. I guess I could try snaking again. This isn't really the best course for it, though. That's the only problem, because there's, like, so much you have to turn and do here. Air Airship Fortress and... Actually, Mario Circuit might be good for snaking, too. I might try to do that again a little bit. I feel like techniques like that are so much harder to do when you're like you're doing commentary because you're focused on talking and explaining it, but then like you kind of lose a little bit of skill while you're trying to explain it, so you can't really do it that effectively. I've been noticing that with like my drifting in general because I feel like for some reason whenever I try to drift, 
I don't always get to the red sparks before I drift, and, you know, when you do that, you can't actually get the mini turbo. It has to be a red spark before you get the turbo. Damn it. Stupid blue shell. Why you gotta be so rude? Daisy died in a claw. Oh no, there she is. She's fine. Okay, let's move on. What do we got now? Mario Circuit, that's right. The randomly late Mario Circuit. Oh yeah, this is a good place for mini turbos. God, sorry I've been so quiet in this part of the video. I feel like I did so much talking in the first part that I just, like, kind of talked myself out. This way I can just kind of focus, though, because I really would like to get a three-star ranking if possible. And see, this is also why three bananas are, like, the optimal items to have whenever you're uh, in first place. Because of the way you hold, like, them out in the line, uh, you can actually block the red shell, I feel like, a lot earlier than you normally would because it's kind of... the banana pile is kind of sticky, sticking out a little bit. So before it gets parallel with you, like, it'll hit the banana anyway, so it'll immediately put it out of play. Well, with the, whenever you have one banana, it will try to do that parallel thing I talked about. Okay, there we go. Wow, look at all those 41 second times. Ugh. Disgusting. Terrible. Ugly. Nightmarish, even. Okay. Airship Fortress. Here we have some wide lanes, so maybe I can show off snaking a little bit here. Uh, maybe not with the bullet bills, though. That'd be kind of sucky if, like, you run into a bullet bill if, like, you're in last place and it actually, like, gives you a bullet bill item. Oh, come on! I was just about to use those. That's rude. You can't really even use those effectively right here. And she just used them all at once. Or whoever had that used them all at once. I'm pretty sure it was Peach. Because, yeah, they're already gone. It's like, where'd you use those three mushrooms when you were, like, shooting out of that cannon? Yeah, like, that really helped. Oh, damn it. Thankfully, I'm not too far behind the first place person. In fact, I see him right now. Come here, Mario! Hug your ex-girlfriend! <laughs> I 
I don't know, you can't really say they were like ex-girlfriend and boyfriend or anything. Maybe he was just like in the neighborhood and was like, maybe I'll just save this kingdom. Even the credits don't really hint at any romantic entanglement. There's not like a heart or anything, I don't think. When Mario says, oh, Daisy, he could be saying, oh, Daisy, old you. How'd Toad get through that? Ah, oh, come on. There goes my perfect, because somehow Toad avoided that blue shell. It's like Mario slowed down or Toad speeded up at the very end, so only one of them got hit by it. Okay, well, whatever. It's an A rank, that's not too bad. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. We only have one more video of Grand Prix left, then we'll move on to mission mode. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.